Marlena questions restock times. The Honest Company answers some questions and there's no question about this trend. I'm Jen from Jen Loves Reviews and What's in the Makeup starts now. Welcome to What's Up in Makeup for July 9th, 2017. Let's get started with our top industry news. We've all been there, that moment when you're staring at one of your favorite products and debating whether or not it's too old to use. The guideline says it is expired, but do you toss it or take the chance? A small at-home experiment conducted by Reddit user semicolon underscore expected might give you some insight. The user tried out two expired products, a five-year-old mascara and a year old lipstick. She swabbed each product into a petri dish and left them to sit for three days with no incubation. Each plate grew large colonies of yellow and white bacteria. The findings are not surprising at all if you consider anything about the areas of the face that these products are intended for, the eyes and lips. Now that you know this, do these findings solidify the idea that you should discard your products according to guidelines or are you still not convinced? Comment below with your view. In a world where it seems like everyone's trying to find a new way to bring their views to light, why not put your support where your mouth is, if you agree with this cause, that is. That's exactly what the lipstick lobby and opening ceremony had in mind with this latest product. Kiss My Pink is a punchy matte pink lipstick that will help you, as they put it, hashtag lipstick it to the man. The lipstick lobby states on its website, wearing this lipstick is a reminder that small actions can create big waves. It's a small thing we can all do right here, right now, to create change. 100% of the profits from the $19 will be donated directly to the women's health initiatives at Planned Parenthood. Speaking of lipsticks, here's another way to make a statement. As you can imagine, creating a lipstick with a punch can be an overwhelming task, especially when you get into brighter colors. With that in mind, try creating a neon lipstick that also follows green standards. Mission Impossible? Not for Bite Beauty, the Amuse Bouche Nearly Neons lipstick collection launched this past week and zowie wowie, these are true neons. The limited edition shade range covers the standards like pink, fuchsia, and peach, as well as some edgier shades like purple, orange, and blue. Bite Beauty founder Suzanne Langmuir stated, it's extremely tough to formulate with natural and food grade ingredients. Bite is made in house and we never outsource formulating or producing our lipsticks. She went on to add, for nearly neons, a base of organic castor seed oil is triple milled with a blend of iron oxides, food grade pigments, and DNC colorants. It's not possible to create bright pinks exclusively with organic colorants as they're not approved by the FDA for use in lipstick. It's always about balance. The rest of the ingredients list includes a base similar to Bite Beauty's Amuse Bouche line, a mix of hydrating organic oils, moisturizing butters, and antioxidants, entirely free of parabens, sulfates, petrochemicals, and phthalates. And to create that comfortable glide on the lips, Suzanne turns to silicone alternatives like jojoba, available now at Sephora, $26 each. This is a trend that's getting more noticeable. A so-called limited edition, limited quantity, or just hot new product launches and sells out immediately. Moments later, the company pops back up to announce the upcoming restock. Those that miss the item are happy, but more and more often, the sellout slash restock cycle is making customers kind of skeptical. After all, doesn't it take a while to manufacture more of those items? The answer is yes, of course. Here's the rundown. For most products, the manufacture cycle takes upward of six weeks, and that's if there's no precious ingredients that are too rare to keep on hand. Those alone can add up to eight more weeks to the cycle for a total of 14 weeks. Even if you start taking pre-orders, it can take longer than some companies are taking to announce the surprise restock. It's that type of tactic that Marlena Stell, owner of Makeup Geek, questioned in a recent post on Twitter. Marlena stated, I'm always curious when restocks mysteriously happen in a week or two. Production takes a minimum of six weeks. And that's where the customer skepticism comes in. With previously mentioned timelines, it does make one wonder exactly what these companies are up to. Doesn't take Nancy Drew to deduce that the companies may have already had ample stock on hand before the original launch and it never really was sold 
out in the first place. My question to you is, does a false sold out sign make you not want to buy or are you just happy to get your hands on the product no matter how it's marketed? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. CVX Live, Creator Viewer Experience Live, is an annual convention held to allow media creators and viewers to come together with attendance that has grown every year since 2015. Each year, thousands of creators submit content in order to be considered for the next big YouTuber contest. This year, we are so proud to announce that one of our very own collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness members, Orly Campbell, has been selected as one of the top 100 finalists for the award. Voting to help Orly take the crown as the next big YouTuber will begin tomorrow, July 10th. Congrats, Orly, on placing in the top 100. Best of luck to you, my friend. <laughs> the Honest Company is known for using marketing terms such as no harsh chemicals and natural, but a proposed class action suit holds the brand accountable for using such terms fraudulently. According to a report published by Reuters, the suit was filed two weeks ago in Manhattan and is currently pending approval by a judge. The company, owned by Jessica Alba, has set aside a $7.35 million fund for the plaintiffs. The company, which denies wrongdoing, has, however, pledged to adjust its labeling practices. Quote, this settlement in no way changes the fact that our marketing practices are entirely appropriate and we will continue to market products as natural, said the company in a statement. Get on Snapchat, blow a kiss to the camera, and change your hair color? L'Oreal Paris UK has partnered with Snapchat to launch a custom lens that does just that. The lens was designed to promote the brand's colorista hair and makeup range. Launched last week, it was available for 24 hours via the Snapchat lens carousel and is unlockable for 90 days using an exclusive snap code, which is only available at L'Oreal Colorista promotional events. Speaking of L'Oreal, they've joined forces with Google to launch the Media Bets Initiative, which is sorting through consumer data in order to create six-second advertisements for video. The partnership was formed when data revealed that customers are less willing to engage with lengthy ads and in fact respond well to shorter marketing teasers that are more catchy and will keep their attention. Media Bets Initiative is set to be the first level of collaboration in this category. A campaign promoting Unilever's Baby Dove line seems to have taken a wrong turn along the way. Among the promotional tools is a high-profile advertising campaign which bears the message 75% say breastfeeding in public is fine, 25% say put them away. What's your way? The blowback arrived soon after when consumers, influencers, and health organizations objected to the brand's support for those that believe that breastfeeding in public is wrong. Among them was Baby Milk Action, which posted on their Facebook that quote, it is illegal to discriminate against anyone for how they feed their child in public. A very long time ago in What's Up in Makeup, we talked about the Walgreens Boots Alliance to buy Rite Aid. They have now called off the planned merger after failing to gain regulatory approval. Instead, they have announced a plan to purchase almost half of Rite Aid's U.S. stores for $5.18 billion. The deal is expected to close in the next six months. And you probably have a lip balm in your pocket or purse, but do you ever give a thought to your beauty care down there? The the Magic Feminine Lipstick offers gentle moisture to your other lips. The all-natural ingredients, including some organic food-grade ingredients like olive oil and honey, are gentle to sensitive areas. $18 at the website. Man, we are all talking about the body parts this week. Take a look at Shan XO's sneak peek of a new brush line, the Nipple Brushes. Yes, that's what they're called. And they do live up to their names as they have a tiny little nipple right on top. The nipple's said to get into those little nooks and crannies where most other brushes cannot reach. No official launch date or price has been announced. We'll keep you posted. And finally, we have a new segment for you, which we call the No Report. You'll find out why in just a minute. Someone dying their hair isn't a big deal anymore. It's pretty mainstream regardless of the color. However, we tend to forget that our heads are not the only place in which hair appears. Getting a no this week is dyeing your armpit hair. People are making a bold statement by dyeing their pit hairs every color of the rainbow. How do they do it? The exact same way anyone else would dye their hair on their head. 
Regardless, gets a formal no from us. In events news this week, Ipsy's Generation Beauty is headed back to San Francisco on July 29th and 30th. Tickets still available for $169. And in poolside shopping deals at Ulta, Urban Decay Shadow Box was $34, now $18 with rich violet hues. And Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer was $20, now it's only $10, available in 14 colors. Now let's get into the product reports, starting with Sephora. Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer was released this week, $19.50. It's a full coverage concealer in 17 shades. Kate Somerville released the Wrinkle Warrior Eye Visible Dark Circle Eraser for $60. It's a lightweight gel that visibly reduces dark circles and lines. Milk Makeup brings us the Triple Threat Lip Set $30, three best-selling lip colors in travel sizes from Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Smoothing Translucent Setting Powder, $16. Tinted and Cooling Eye Primer is $14 in five shades. Golden Hour Highlighting Powder, $16 in four shades and the Sephora Pro Cool Eyeshadow Palette, Sephora Pro Editorial Eyeshadow Palette, or Sephora Pro Warm Eyeshadow Palette are $68 each. Stella released the Cosmic Face Luster Powder for $30 in two shades and available for VIB and VIB Rouge only, the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation for $48. They say it's transfer resistant liquid foundation with a matte finish in 20 shades. And also for VIB and VIB Rouge only from Smashbox Studio Skin Face Shaping Foundation Stick, $42 with 16 dual shade options. Conquer Your Contour Kit, $39, that's online only. And coming soon from Pat McGrath Labs, launching online July 29th, the Matte Trance Lipstick Single, $38, a richly pigmented lipstick in nine shades. Lust Matte Trance Trio, $95, this comes in three trio sets. And the Matte Trance Everything Kit, $275. It is a nine piece set. And these items are also available online only. The Bite Beauty Suzanne's Favorites Kit for $49. An exclusive limited edition trio with Bite Beauty founder Suzanne Langmuir's favorite Amuse Bouche shades. Giorgio Armani's Beauty Crema Nuda is $120. A next level tinted cream in six shades. And from Huda Beauty, the Lip Strobe, $18. Sheer to full cover in 12 shades and finally from Velour Lashes the eye shape lash kit for $45 designed with your unique eye shape in mind hooded almond round monolid or deep set and also this week from Stila, the Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer, $40. Matte Foundation with its coordinating concealer hidden inside the cap in 16 shades from Porcelain to Espresso. Stay All Day Concealer Refill, $15. Stay All Day Cover, $36 only at Ulta. The coverage you love now in perfectly portable stick form, according to them. Also available in 16 shades from Porcelain to Espresso. And finally, the One Step Illuminate or One Step Prime, $36. $6 each. And this week from Becca, the Lit From Within kit, $20. It is online only. It includes the travel sizes of Backlight Priming Filter and Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. Now at Ulta from Tarte, the Clay Stick Foundation, $39, available in 12 shades. Blush and Glow Blush and Highlighter, $36, available in two shades. Pout Prep Lip Exfoliant is $16. Make Magic Happen Eyeshadow Palette, $32, includes nine shades. And the Limited Edition Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara, $23, and Lid Lock Clay Eye Base, $21. From Too Faced, the Born This Way Ethereal Loose Setting Powder, $32. Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick, $21, available in 15 shades. From Ofra Online Only, Nikki Tutorials released the Everglow Highlighter for $29, a 3-in-1 Luminous Highlighter, and the Nudes Lip Set, $35, a nude for every mood. And Their Minnows released the Flawless Performance 3-Piece Bear Pro Introductory Collection for $34, featuring Bear Pro Powder Foundation, Primetime Original Foundation Primer, and a mini core coverage brush. You can choose from eight shades. Origins released the Jin Zing SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer for $37. NYX released the Liquid Suede Metallic Cream Lipsticks, $7.49 each, available in 12 shades, including Ultra Metallics. And online now, in stores July 30th, from the Ulta brand, the Melissa 
Melissa Michelle palette, $20. YouTuber Melissa Michelle has curated a makeup palette specifically selected with every skin tone in mind. Contains highlighter trio, blush, and five matte eyeshadows along with four metallic eyeshadows and a matte liquid lipstick. Have you given thought to your micellar water lately? Here are three new ones that you might want to consider. Yes, the Tomatoes released one called the Detoxifying Charcoal Micellar Cleansing Water, $8.99. The charcoal detoxifies skin without leaving a residue. Then we have the Simple Water Boost Sensitive Skin Micellar Cleansing Water. This one is $9.99. It's infused with skin-loving minerals and a plant extract specifically developed for dry, dehydrated, or sensitive skin. And then Philosophy released the Purity Made Simple Micellar Cleansing Water for $22. They made this to give you skin that feels clean, hydrated, toned, and refreshed. And online now in stores June 30th, Hemp's Triple Moisture Herbal Lip Balm, Strawberry Cream Herbal Lip Balm, or Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Herbal Lip Balm, $8.99 each, enriched with 100% pure, THC-free natural hemp seed oil. Tony Moly released the Panda's Dream Pocket Lip Balm for $9.50. It's a panda, what more do you want? <laughs> And never forget, there are some gifts with purchase while quantities last, one per customer. First, we have the free deluxe sample mini lip gloss and dip brow pomade with any $40 Anastasia Beverly Hill purchase. Then receive a free deluxe Amazonian clay highlighter in the shade Stunner with any $35 Tarte purchase. Free matte rescue deluxe sample with any $45 benefit purchase. And receive a free luminizer primer sample with any Dr. Brandt purchase. And finally, a free all-nighter liquid foundation for shade sampler with any $35 Urban Decay purchase. It is online only. In high-end news this week at Nordstrom, Lancome Le Lip Lip Liner, $26. A two-in-one liner for color and blending, available in six shades. And at Macy's, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color Matte. $29. It's water resistant with an intense color impact. It is available in six shades. And this week at Neiman Marcus, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Eyeshadow Five Color Palette, $54 available in six colorways. And finally, La Paris Cellular Treatment Powder Blush, $55 with light reflective pigments in four shades. And in drugstore news this week from e.l.f., Beautifully Bare Targeted Natural Glow Stick is $4, enriched with vitamin E and coconut oil in three shades. The matte liquid lipsticks are $5. They do come in five shades. Lip Plumping Gloss, also $5, comes in five shades. Lip Lacquer, $2 in four new shades. Hydrating Gel Mist, $8, enriched with antioxidants and fruits. Beautifully Bare Glowing Eyes Eyeshadow, $8 in three colors. Colorways. Blending sponge, $5, and the Beautifully Bare Sheer Tint Brow Gel, also $5. Comes in four shades, including clear. From L'Oreal, Infallible Smokissimi Powder Eyeliner Pen, $9.99. They say you can create a defined smoky eye with no smudging needed. Comes in the shade Black Smoke. And the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer was released this week, $9.99, available in eight shades. The Revlon Youth FX line is now appearing in stores. Youth FX Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer, $13.99, comes in six shades. Youth FX Fill and Blur Foundation, $7.99, comes in 12 shades. Youth FX Fill and Blur Primer for face and neck or forehead, $9.99 each. And also from Revlon, the Super Lustrous Lipstick Street Chic Collection, $8.49, inspired by cities around the world with six new shades. From number seven this week, Stay Perfect Eyeshadow Palette, $14.99, two palette shades. Stay Perfect Eyeshadow Trio, $9.99, available in six trios. Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15 $14.99 comes in three shades. And Walmart has released the Men's Grooming Box. Free plus $7 shipping and handling. A one-time box that contains goodies from Axe, Dove Men, Edge, and more. This week at QVC, where even a seagull gets $3 shipping, Doll 10 Liquid 2 Glow Radiance Gel Highlighter, $28. A weightless cream gel highlighter infused with hydrating humectant, 
Confidence in Champagne Pearl. DCL Express Waterless Makeup Remover is $28, a one-step moisturizing cleanser infused with moisturizing botanicals. From La Matière de Beauté Neutral Eye Collection Kaleidoscope, $95, four complimentary shades in the palette. The Precision Complete Coverage, $45, a high pigment cream that glides over the skin as that's to a velvety finish. Choice of six shades. Peau Vierge Anti-Aging Complex, $150. Sheer natural looking coverage, choice of six shades as well. Or if all of that sounds good to you, the Le Metier de Beauté, the Perfection Complexion Set is $149.96. It's a three-piece complexion perfection set with a Peau Vierge Anti-Aging Complex, Precision Complete Coverage, and a concealer brush, choice of six colors. And from back of this week, Sunlit Bronzer and Half Moon Brush, $37. 96 in your choice of three shades and there will be a TSV on July 10th Tula by Dr. Raj three-piece probiotic skincare essentials kit is 5196 plus free shipping. Meanwhile, over at HSN, Lancome Monsieur Big Chubby Brow Crayon, $25 plus free shipping, or five flex pays of $5. Soft Creamy Brow Crayon, choice of four colors. And available for pre-order, the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, $25 plus free shipping, available on five flex pays of $5. Your biggest, blackest, boldest lashes yet, according to them. And finally, the Too Faced Glitter Balm Eyeshadow Palette, $45 plus free shipping, available on five flex pays of $9 each. In natural and cruelty-free news this week, Juice Beauty's Green Apple Brightening Essence is $35. The Green Apple Cocktail of Malic Acid, Alpha Lipoic, COQ10, and more help improve skin, texture, and clarity. In indie brand news this week, from Ofra Cosmetics, the Island Time Collection, all about basking in the glow of summer, blush in Mai Tai, Bellini or Punch, $29, highlighter in Bali, $29, Long-lasting liquid lipsticks in Rio, Aruba, or Cocos Island, $17. Island Time Lip Set with all three colors is $35. ColourPop released the Crystal Collection with setting sprays, $6 each. Liquid highlighter, $9 each. Lip balms, $5 each. Bundles were available with the setting spray, liquid highlighter, and lip balm. They Some of them were sold out when I filmed this, but there may still be some available, or they may somehow restock them magically. I don't know. You might want to check it out if you're interested. And ColourPop ha now has nail polish in six shades, $6 each. From Storybook Cosmetics, liquid lipsticks, $14 each, vegan and gluten-free, not tested on animals, in adventure, fantasy, horror, and romance, available individually or as a bundle. The Secret Garden brush update, Storybook has announced that the Secret Garden will be a permanent, ongoing, always changing, always evolving collection. First up will be real handmade dried flower brush brushes. These will be on sale very, very soon. And don't forget the Kat Von D Shade and Light Glimmer Palette will arrive at Sephora.com on July 11th and in stores July 13th, launching internationally in November. I have seen some people that have gotten their hands on it in store already, though, so you might want to check your local Sephora to see if they already have it. And here we go. Did you miss it? It's the Sneak Peeks Lightning Round in three, two, one. The Violet Boss and Nicole Concilio palette will release July 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Price to be announced. Bitter Lace Beauty sneaks this mermaid highlighter palette with 10 shades. No release date or price yet. There's also a rainbow highlighter called Afterglow that is a single included in the collection and available to purchase separately. To the Nail Cosmetics sneaks the Unicorn vs. Mermaid palette with six full-size highlighters, possibly releasing July 14th, $48.50. And Makeup Monsters is introducing the Monster Hair Dye, a line of vegan, highly pigmented, and long-lasting semi-permanent hair dye. Here's some late breaking news we thought you'd want to know. Check your Ebates. Sephora has joined their vacation double cash back promotion and now you'll get 8% cash back through July 10th. Kylie Cosmetics is having a buy one get one sale on their website now through the end of Monday, July 10th. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow will be launching on their website July 25th and available in store at Sephora, Ulta, Macy's and Dillard's on August 15th in four gorgeous shades. What's this? Wet and wild new Mega Glow highlighters are coming soon. Keep an eye out for the details. If it's a black rose bush, it must be from Storybook Cosmetics. These will launch this fall. What color do you think the brush heads will be? And just look at this loveliness. Huda Beauty is introducing a summer collection with a highlighter palette and new liquid lipsticks. More details to come.
And that's it for What's Up in Makeup this week. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to the official What's Up in Makeup reporting team. Their faces are scrolling next to me. Thank you so much for all of your submissions this week. And thank you to the What's Up in Makeup app reporters. Their names are scrolling right here. Thank you so much for your submissions as well. And thank you to Tabitha B for collecting it all and putting it all together for me. Don't forget the Daily Makeup Minute, Monday through Friday at noon. 60 seconds of news you can use. And we did do a double feed of the What's on My Face a session that we do. I usually just do it on Periscope, but I did bring a part of it over to the YouTube channel. I will link both live feeds down below if you want to check out me trying the Jaclyn Hill palette for the first time. It definitely wasn't a smooth live feed, but you can get my initial impressions in case you're curious. There will be a full review of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette coming to my channel hopefully this coming week or early next week. Sometime before July 20th, I need to get that video up. Chat today will be at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be talking about products that are really, really intense. Products that just knock our socks off with how bright and pigmented and crazy they are. So if you're interested in finding out some of the best products and talking to a group of about 200 people about their favorites, stop by chat today at 10 a.m. Eastern Time and share your thoughts about your favorite products in that category as well. So as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Mad love to you and I will see you in a video very very soon. Bye!